All right, so in this problem, we're trying to match the summary statistics with the histogram. All right, so we have four summary statistics and four histograms. The one observation that we can make here is that the mean and the medians are all equal. They're both either 59 or both 69. And um, the second summary statistics has mean and median 69, and the other ones are all 59. So we have to find that that's like our first thing we should look at. So if we look at the first uh, part, uh, let's look at graph A. So graph A seems to be centered around 59. So that's not going to be the second summary statistics. Uh, let's look at B. B seems to be centered around here. It's sort of the middle of everything. And that's 69. OK, so that's it. That's going to be summary statistics two so we can put a two here we're done with that one let's cross it out all right now we have to do the other three now one important thing to note is that the standard deviation on one is 1 1.5 and, and four is 20 23 see these two standard deviations so we want to see we're gonna we're gonna sort of hone in on that so if we look at the if we look at graph c Notice that the it's going all the way from 119 to like negative 1. So that's a huge range, right? The range is uh, about, you know, 100, 120, right? Now, what about this range? What's this one? This range looks like it's 54 to 64. Oh, that's it. That's 10. That's pretty small. Okay, let's look at this one. It's going from like... 29 to 89 what's that 760 so that range is 60 okay so all right so that tells us a lot so graphs c and d are the ones we're looking for so c is the biggest range so that's going to be four summary statistics four and d would have to be summary statistic one leaving a the last one that's going to be three